What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're taking a closer look at the Sony WH-1000XM5. I'm pretty sure I did not mess that up. But today we're taking a closer look at these headphones. This is probably at the very at this very time and point Sony's best and brightest. Now these headphones have been around for I'd say that good 12 month mark. It's been a little bit over a year. I do want to kind of do a recap, kind of an update video on these. I haven't covered them on the channel yet, and so that's why I wanted to make a video for you guys. Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about the overall performance of the headphones we're going to talk about the battery life talk about the connectivity bluetooth and i'm also going to talk about the overall outside reach of the headphones so for example for gaming and all of those things so if you're interested in all of that stick around we're going to jump right into it also before we get into the video i just want to say thank you so much for all the support on the channel recently it's been absolutely crazy i i, I honestly can't really keep up so thank you so much if you go ahead and enjoy this video give it a like also make sure to subscribe we're on the road to 10k subscribers we're almost there we're actually going getting there super fast so if you guys want to be part of the before 10k boat go ahead and subscribe now while you still have the chance because we will probably get to 10k very soon and you might miss that opportunity but anyway with all that being said let's jump into the video all right so first things first with the sony xm5 the one the first thing i want to point out is the price now this is not necessarily your super budget affordable headphones they are premium by all means i i have to admit this is a premium headset it is pricier these brand new do go for 500 canadian dollars i'm i'm located in canada so yes the for reference they go for 500 Canadian dollars. In the US, they'll probably go for 399. So regardless of the sales, I do have to say that this is a headset that is worth it, even brand new, even full price. So all that said, when they're on sale, it's absolutely a no-brainer. You should definitely get them. But why should you get them? Now, I talked about the price. I talked about them being on sale. But I want to jump into the specifics of the Sony XM5. Now, the first thing that kind of stands out to me on the Sony XM5s is the design. It is super clean, super minimalist. It is very nice. It's kind of futuristic and it has some mechanics that work in a way that are very intuitive and very easy. So I've had no issues whatsoever operating the XM5s and I had no issues whatsoever in using them on a day-to-day -day basis. The Bluetooth works really well. Now I've had some slight connectivity issues every so often. I would say that I try to connect them to pretty much all of my devices. So when you're trying to connect them to like an iPhone or like an Android phone, or all of these things, it works fantastic. It's super fast, blazing. It's super fast, it connects instantly. There are absolutely no issues. Now I did have a bit of issues connecting it to my PC. So I've been trying to connect it to my PC and try to use them with wireless connectivity and try to game on my PC and see how they work. I've had a bit of issues every time I was connecting the actual Sonys to my PC. It would connect and then it would just drop the connection and it wouldn't follow through and then i would sometimes it would connect and it would stay a little bit longer now halfway through the game the connection would drop or the connection on the actual sony's would stop so i would be playing and then the audio would just completely disappear from my headphones and that was one of the issues that i ran into but i would say that for the most part that is one out of probably like 400 cases it's really not going to be the issue most of the time it did happen to me a few times not a lot of times, so I do want to point that out. Now, speaking of connectivity, I, there was another thing that I kind of noticed, especially with the Sony's regarding the overall Bluetooth, is I tried to connect them to my PlayStation. So to me, it made a lot of sense that if Sony made these headphones and Sony's also the same company that made the PlayStation, how about I just try to connect the XM5s to the PlayStation? Now, I think most of you are aware that the PlayStation has its kind of limitations when it comes to Bluetooth audio peripherals there's not many headphones you can connect to the playstation and that's a little unfortunate they have their vision they have their pulse headphones and they're great and they're dedicated for the playstation 5 but a lot of times you might already have headphones if ever you pick these up and you wanted these and you want to use these for your productivity your gaming your everyday tasks and you want to use one pair of headphones you might have a bit of issues with these xm5s as i've been trying to use them with the playstation and the bluetooth well the first time i tried to connect them it wasn't even working. I couldn't find them on the PlayStation. And then the second time I tried to connect them, the PlayStation actually found the XM5s. I connected them and then I ran into the issue that it wasn't supporting the actual Bluetooth device. So that's an issue that I ran into. I think it's relatively unfortunate. Kind of sucks that, you know, Sony makes the XM5s and they also made the PlayStation 5, but they don't work together, which is a little unfortunate. Now on the upside, it's not that big of an issue because you do get an auxiliary cord inside of the box 
of the Sony XM5s. So you will be able to use them on your PlayStation without a problem. You just have to use them plugged in. So plug it in the cable on your XM5s and then in the controller, and then you'll be just fine. You can use all of the uh, features from the controller and all of the features from the headset as well to a certain extent, obviously, since they're not connected Bluetooth. But overall, that's just something I wanted to point out. I know for all of my gamers, that might have been something interesting. Now, I covered all of that and I kind of got a little bit distracted. I was talking about the design. Now, one thing I love about this design is that the overall headset is super, super light. Now, this might be one of the most lightweight headset I've ever had in my whole life. These are great. They're fantastic. You barely feel them on your head. They are super comfortable. That little bridge on the top that holds the headphones on that sits on your head is really comfortable and I've never had an issue with it. And that's something that's very important to me, considering the fact that I'm not really trying to compare, but I do need to in this situation, just to prove a point. The last generation of the Beat Studio Pro, so the newer ones that I have revealed on the channel, if you wanna see it, links somewhere in the corner. But I have talked about those and I have talked about how the little bridge at the top that holds the headphones wasn't necessarily comfortable. If anything, it was actually less comfortable than the previous Beats Studio Pro generation. But in comparison, the XM5s are by far a lot more comfortable overall, not just not necessarily just the bridge, but overall their comfort is a lot better. Now, another thing I really love about the XM5s is that overall black matte finish. It's really nice, it looks good, it's super premium, and I think it's a little bit better than overall glossy headphones but it is a fingerprint magnet, so do be wary. Pay, pay attention to this if you do buy these headphones, if you haven't had them before, if you were in the market and you were looking to buy them, pay attention to that, they are fingerprint magnets, so when the second you'll get them out of the box, you will notice how they get dirty super, super quick, so that's something that you guys should pay attention to. Just pointing it out, it's not a big issue, you can obviously clean them with like some Lysol wipes or just some like clean wipes or disinfectant wipes, it's not the big, it's not a big deal, it's not the end of the world, but pay attention to that. Now in terms of the functionalities and the features of the XM5s, it does have an auxiliary jack, it has its power button, that's also the same button to connect them via Bluetooth. So for power button, you have to hold it for, I'd say roughly three seconds and then they turn on. And if you keep holding, I'd say for about another two seconds, so an overall total of five seconds, you will activate the Bluetooth mode. I think this is goes without saying, I didn't really wanna go into these type of details as you guys watching this video probably already know about this stuff. I just wanted to really cover the overall experience with the XM5s after this after pretty much the 12 month mark. So I would have to say that the overall battery life, talking about more performance here, the battery life has been significantly better than other Sony headphones I've tried in the past. The overall performance and the battery life on these ones, given that they are a Bluetooth wireless headphone, it has been really good, it has been performant. It, I, I would say that this is probably the only thing that hasn't necessarily been better than the Beats Studio Pro. That's something that Beats just overall has nailed and they have the secret formula, they have the secret sauce to it and you can't deny it. I just, it is, it, they just figured it out. They know how to give us like pretty much an infinite battery life and I don't know how they've done it, but they've did. Um, nevertheless, the one on the Sony is also very good, super performant. It will get you through about like four or five days sometimes even a week. Now, overall, I would have to say that the main thing about the XM5s that I've been the most surprised with is really the comfort. It's such a lightweight headphone, and I mentioned it earlier in the video, but I feel like I had to say it again. I can't stress enough how comfortable these are. It's probably one of the best, most comfortable headphones out there, and they do look a little bit bulky. I'll put them on my, on my head right now, and as the noise canceling kind of kicks in, the noise canceling also is really good. It's some probably one of the better ones out there on the market, but the overall comfort, I barely feel them on my head. They're so lightweight. I, I feel like I can pretty much do anything with these. And it's kind of crazy because I have actually picked up a pair of Studio Pros, uh, Beat Studio Pros not long ago, and now I have these. And I'm kind of comparing both of them and <laughs> actually I don't really know which one as I prefer more. But the overall experience with the XM5s is really, really nice. I gotta say, man, this is one of the premium headphones. And ultimately in this video, I wanted to kind of just wrap up and say, is it worth it? Is it worth that $500 price point? I would say that even for $500, even brand new, even full price, these are worth it, man. It, it's just one of those headphones that you'll get it out of the box, you'll start using it, and you will probably instantly fall in love. That's kind of been my relationship with the XM5s. Got them out of the box, 
I've been using them and then I just instantly fell in love with them. And like I said, I tried, I started using them for gaming. I started using them for like working out. I started using them for a bunch of other stuff, just trying to see how I can incorporate them in pretty much every opportunity I had. And that's just basically showing that I actually really loved and enjoyed using these headphones. So overall, just how, like I said, you might run into some slight Bluetooth issues here and there, but I don't think that's a big issue for the most part. And then again, you can't use them on a PlayStation 5 via Bluetooth. You can use them via wire, so that's really good. Now, one last thing I wanna talk about before we wrap up this video is really just this box. I gotta say, I can't understand why Sony has made this design. It's smart, it's not stupid, it makes a lot of sense. And I gotta admit that this little box inside here that holds the charging cable and the auxiliary cord is also genius. It has a magnetic clap, super brilliant. That's a very good design overall. But this is so, so bulky and spacious. It takes up a lot of space. Like I'm gonna put this giant crepe in my backpack. It's, I don't know, I, I feel like the Beats design, the Beats box is a little bit better, although it's still as bulky and just maybe a little bit more narrow, but it's still as bulky, if not even bulkier. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, it's about the headphones inside and not so much about the box. But yeah, that's been it on the Sony XM5s. It's kind of been my 12 month review. Now let me know what you think about the Sony XM5s. Have you used them? Have you bought them? Are you thinking about buying them? If you're in the market for them, let me know if this video has helped you in any shape or form. I would really like to know. With all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe, like I said, Road to 10K. If you wanna be on the boat, on the pre-10K boat, then go ahead, do it now, because we might get there pretty fast. With all that being said, let me know your thoughts on the XM5s. Let me know what you would like to see next on the channel. I'm open to suggestions. And I'll, as always, take care. I wish you the best of luck in everything you do, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Deuces.